Today, Garrett and I are going to show you how to do some density problems. So here's our first problem. So you're given an object, it is perfectly smooth and shiny, and it looks like gold. And you want to know if it's real gold or if it's a fake. All right, so Garrett, we're going to use the density to figure out if it's real gold. Okay? Okay. All right, so the first thing we got to do is figure out what data we have. We know that the volume of the object is 785 milliliters. And we know the mass of the object is 15.2 kilograms. So we can take that information and we can calculate the density of the object that's been measured and compare that to the density of gold. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this clear global statement to make sure that all of our variables are clear. And now we're going to assign the variables that we know, okay? Okay. So, what's the volume of our object? We're going to call that capital V. And the volume? 785 milliliters. <laughs> I think I get uh, this. Okay. Oh, and you know what? We're going to change that to centimeters cubed. Now, we talked about this in class. Milliliters is equal to one centimeter cubed. So we can make that conversion straight up. Control 6 for our, super, our, our superscript and a semicolon at the end of our statement. So that's our volume. And our mass of the object is 15.2 kilograms. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change that to grams. OK, control question mark to give me a box over box. And I know that the conversion from grams to kilograms is 1,000. So for every 1,000 grams, I have one kilogram. So if I set this conversion factor up like this, I can very easily change from kilograms to grams. I'm going to put a semicolon at the end. We don't really have to calculate it because Mathematica will do that calculation for us when we solve for density. I, I found it out. You already know? What? 15,200. Thank you. 15,200 grams. All right. So now we're going to use the solve function. Oops. We're going to type solve with a capital S, square brackets, and now within the square brackets, we're going to write the equation for density with a double equal sign. So we're going to use the row sign, escape, d escape, oops, escape, d escape, there's row, double equals, control, question mark, m over v. Now make sure all of your variables are written the same way as you wrote them before. This time we're solving for density. Notice that it turned green because the one we're solving for turns green. So we put the so the comma and then the one we're solving for um, and then close our square brackets. Oops, square brackets. Shift return should give us our answer. Oops, you see what happened there, Garrett? Mm -hmm. I forgot to input my variables. Notice the variables M and V did not turn black. So I've got to go back, click in here, and at the end of that statement, hit shift return. Now those variables have been entered in, so Mathematica has recorded their values. Now I'm going to shift return again for my solve function, and there it is. There's the density of our object. Now I'm going to write that as a in the correct significant digits. Now both of our measurements had three significant digits. This is division, so we're going to use the multiplication division rule. So we go by the least number of significant digits. So in this case, we need three in our answer. So we'll have 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed. Okay, well, that's all well and good, but how do we know if it's gold? Do you know what we have to do next? No. We gotta look up the density of gold. Now, Mathematica has a really handy way of doing this. We're going to use the uh, Wolfram Alpha database. So if you type, go into a new cell by hitting a down arrow and then type a single equal sign, you'll get the, the equal sign in an um, orange block like this. And now I'm going to type the words density, I'm going to type it correctly, density of gold. And then I'm going to hit shift return and okay now that's not the units I want so I'm going to click on this little plus sign. And that's going to give me all the information they can find out about the density of gold. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at that. The density of gold is 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed. So what do you think? Is our object actually gold? Yeah. 
I would say it is because the density of gold is 19.3 and from our measurements we got exactly 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed so you're rich you've got a huge chunk of gold on your hands time Mom, to retire just something is that density or is that dynasty <laughs> typo all right I'm gonna hit shift return to save that now let's take a look at the next one. Okay, pecan pie. One of the my favorite things to make every year at Thanksgiving is pecan pie. Don't you like pecan pie? My mom's pecan pie is amazing. Yep, and it recalls it calls for corn syrup. So just imagine your mother looked up a new recipe. And instead of telling you the number of cups of corn syrup, it was listed in grams. Many recipes are listed in grams uh, instead of, and milliliters instead of cups. So that you need to help your mother out. Can you figure out how many milliliters and how many cups of corn syrup she will need in order to measure out 175 grams? Well, guess what? The answer is with density again. All right, so first thing we're going to do here is we're going to use our clear global statement, clearing out all the values we've already stored because we need to use the same variables over and over. Um, you know, we know the mass of our substance, and we can look up the volume using this same technique. So let's do that first. Equals uh, density of light corn syrup. Let's see what we get. Shift return nothing it'll give it a minute and and maybe no it's thinking here it is light corn syrup oh let's hit the plus sign told me this before mass uh oh that's not it i did this before and it gave me a nice spit out a nice value there's the nutritional label for corn syrup. Wow, there's a lot, a lot of, of information. Stuff. Number of carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals, Iron. alcohol content, physical properties. Yay, there it is. Density, serving density, 1.5 grams per centimeter cubed. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of information. So I'm going to go was. ahead and write that in here. Uh, I'm going to start a new cell. And I'm going to use my symbol for density, rho, equals 1.5 grams per centimeter cubed. You know what I like to do is I like to use the box over box. So I'm going to highlight that and hit control question mark. And then I'm going to put centimeters cubed, control 6 for cubed, in the denominator. We know the density. We're halfway home. Mm -hmm. What about the mass? Well, the recipe calls for 175 grams. So there's our mass. M, M equals 175 grams. Semicolon. And capital S. We're going to type solve, square brackets, and now our density equation. Oops. Escape, D escape, double equals M, control question mark, over V. At this time, we're actually going to solve for volume, not mass. So, I mean, not density. So I'm going to put... D. Okay, and close my square brackets and shift return. There it is. That's not so hard. 116.667 centimeters cubed. Well, that's a big number. Well, it isn't big, but it has a lot of values. It sure does. Well, we need two significant digits in our answer because our value for density only has two, whereas our mass has three. So the volume, we're going to call it. 120 milliliters. All right, now how many cups? Well, let's do it the easy way. Let's ask Wolfram Alpha. If we have 120 milliliters equals question mark cups. Let's see if it can tell us the answer. There you go, a half a cup, 0. 0.5072. So your mother will need a half a cup of corn syrup to have 175 grams. Now, let's make sure we answered the entire question. We figured out the answer in milliliters and in cups. 
Oh, do you expect the corn syrup to sink or float when you add it to a half a cup of water? What do you think? Is it going to sink, sink or float? Yes, it's going to sink. The density of corn syrup is 1.5, which is greater than the density of water. The density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cubed. So therefore, when you mix that in with the water, the corn syrup is going to go to the bottom, the water is going to go to the top until you mix it all up. Okay.